the government has embarked on an ambitious plan to achieve food security, boost manufacturing sector, ensure Kenyans have access to affordable health care and affordable housing, with a clear plan on leveraging on public-private partnerships. One of the government's biggest projects under the Uhuru Kenyatta presidency is the Standard Gauge Railway, which saw the Chinese bring in manpower for the construction and operation of the rail, raising questions on the level of skills Kenyans have to actualize the Big Four agenda. Um, Any one of them who is committed should leave the institution with a certain amount of capability that can only be improved in the actual environment. Now, the very fact that the government is not focusing on creating employable people for you no know, blue collar for white collar, then the first thing is they should be ready to actually apply those skills. In a bid to build a skill set for the Standard Gauge Railway, more than 100 students went to China under the Standard Gauge Railway's project training program, acquiring in the process bachelor's degrees in civil engineering, specializing in design and construction, signaling and communication, as well as operation and maintenance to enable them acquire skills in technical management required for SGR construction and subsequent operation and maintenance. The, the very fact that that we are in a, a world where we are seeing new industries and new jobs itself, therefore, is, is the first challenge. When you, when you are discussing uh, infrastructure today, you are not just discussing roads. You are discussing undersea cables. You are discussing things that do more with what we would call communications authority of Kenya, the, 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 the sole mandate of what they do. So infrastructure is beyond what, we, what my parents would have called infrastructure. The news of the arrival of doctors from Cuba sparked a debate on whether the country had skilled doctors. According to the Medical Practitioners and Dentist Board, currently the ratio of doctors to patients is one doctor for every 7,507 patients. The ratio of dentists, including foreigners, is one for every 70,278 patients. As at March 2018, the country had only 2,000 591 specialist doctors. Some of the specialization brought in by the Cuban doctors include orthopedics and trauma, plastic and reconstructive surgery, to add on to the four in the country, radiology, urology, ophthalmology, nephrology, among others. The manufacturing sector, on the other hand, is expected to create about 10,000 jobs, especially in construction of building materials, to tap into the housing project. When we look for um, welders, when we look for technical people, we basically have to poach from each other, which is of course not healthy, and then you have a, lot, a, a huge unemployed um, base. The ICT sector is also expected to generate 10,000 jobs, with investors looking at companies that assemble phones, IT entrepreneurs program, innovation, and five BPOs, which are expected to drive these opportunities. Even with the projected job opportunities, the Ministry of Labor still insists that job seekers, especially young people, need additional skills to survive in the job market. Even as the government looks into achieving the big four, it is evident that institutions will have to align themselves to equip their students with the current needs of the job market. Massimilanoi, K24, Evening Edition.